All right, this accessory B workout is super simple, meant to be used after one of your 10 minute AMRAP quads, okay? Um, if you have an ab mat, you can definitely use this. This just helps go along with the curvature of your back. If you don't, that's okay. You're gonna be just fine. Um, if you do have one of these, remember that the flat part is gonna go right here along your tailbone. So I'll show you that once I get done explaining what the accessory is. So it is an eight round Tabata. Remember a Tabata is working for 20 seconds and having 10 seconds of rest. Okay, and so if you have the smart wad timer, you're gonna go ahead and set eight rounds, work 20, rest 10. And the only movement that you're gonna focus on is your sit up. Okay, the purpose of this accessory is to strengthen specific muscles. Um, you don't need to have a score. If you want to on this one, you can keep track of how many sit-ups you do total. And then that way, when you do it again, you can compare, but you know, take your time, also push yourself. Um, this is gonna really work on your core. So what is a sit-up and what are some modifications for you? What you're gonna do, if you do have the ab mat, on the floor, tuck it right up against that tailbone. And for a sit-up, your knees are gonna be bent. You're gonna lay flat on your back, arms come above your head. And when that beat goes and it says it's 20 seconds of work, you're gonna throw those arms forward, touch at your toes, break parallel. Okay, don't stop up here. We wanna make sure that we come all the way through. And that's one, two, three. And I touch my hands above my head every time and I touch them at my toes every time. Now, if you don't have an ab mat, like I said, it's fine. You're just gonna come down and do the same thing. Just like that for your sit-ups. Okay, a modification if maybe you can't get all the way up on your own is if you actually tuck your feet underneath a couch or a weight or have somebody hold them for you, that'll give you some leverage to pull your body up and break parallel that way. So you can definitely do that if you need to, or you can go ahead and do crunches. So for crunches, the goal is to get both shoulder blades off the ground, just like that. You can put your hands behind your head, just don't pull on your neck too much, okay? I like to either put them out like this or just next to my head, kind of use them as momentum a little bit to get my shoulder blades off the ground. So you're gonna work for 20 seconds, and then during that 10 seconds of rest, maybe you wanna flip over, stretch out your abs a little bit, um, shake it out however you need to, um, because this is gonna burn, okay? Eight rounds, work for 20 seconds, 10 seconds off. Keep track of how many you do for sit-ups if you'd like to, and um, this is your accessory for today. I hope that you guys are enjoying these workouts, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'd love to get some feedback or just know what you're loving, or if you need some extra help as far as modifications go, don't be afraid to ask. All right, you guys, we'll see you later.